Hello, everybody. I'm Jim McMahon. With me is Gorilla Metal. Hello, hello. The JFW Universe is coming to Long Island, New York. We've got Friday Stand Firm, and we are opening up with someone who's not supposed to be on the Stand Firm roster, Table Leg Wanger, getting given back his Money in the Ass contract after squandering it in a nefarious scheme with Mr. Jim McMahon himself. Uh, last Friday night, we saw Tony plays poorly overcome all odds, as he frequently does, and retain his title. But Table Leg's here. He's out. He's talking. Uh, he doesn't look very trim to me, Jim, but uh, that probably won't matter if he can wrestle that title away from Tony. Yeah, well, look, who knows? It could be water weight. He, he, could, he could well have trimmed down. Um, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing that one. And then look at this. The other man involved in the main event last week, McNaughton, seemingly getting a little bit of a punishment. Could it be that he didn't put up a good enough fight against Tony to soften him up for Table Leg Wanger, or am I looking too deep down the conspiracy uh, tunnel there? But he is facing cock and ball torture. Uh, the uh, the tag team we've seen we've seen put in this position to uh, enforce some of the uh, the rules for the big wigs up top before Jim. What do you think about this one? Yeah, I mean, it was a shocking, it was a shocking performance in the main event from him, wasn't it? He got absolutely annihilated by Tony, who had been wrestling all night long and <laughs> had his balls devastated, being beaten up by Skurometo backstage, and he dispatched McNaughton far too easily. Yeah, it was no, no show at all from McNaughton. So yeah, may, maybe you're onto something. We'll have to wait and see. And then a big man, little man challenge continues. Winners of our first one, Flaky Flack and Labred Mask. Plain white toast they're being called these days. Up against Wolf Romeo Jax and Humorous Chimp. A uh, unlikely but kind of likely pairing of two wrestlers, Jim. <laughs> yeah, they've both got that uh, that furry vibe going on, haven't they? So, <laughs> good for them up against the, the most charismatic man in JFW and the Friday Night Fuckboy. <laughs> yeah, should be a fun one. And then the crew, CR, capital E-W-E, is back. The Welsh Wonders taking on Mighty AF. The Welshmen failed to out overcome the unnatural snackers, as many tag teams have in the past. But this is a triple threat, three on three against the top guys. Tony might be a little distracted. You know, he knows Wanger's in the building and might have to worry about that as well as this. But it's Mighty AF. We see them all the time in these kinds of matches, and they're always very dominant. Yeah, yeah, Mighty AF are definitely the guys to beat, so it'll certainly be a feather in the cap uh, for the crew exploding onto the scene with a win over Mighty AF if they can manage that. Huge one for them. And then here we go, a heavyweight division, uh, classic in the making, Adonta Kellis versus... Dave, and those are two guys, I want to say two top guys, but Dave, outside of the name, outside of the performance, outside of the love of the JFW universe that he has garnered in the past few weeks and months, doesn't have much else going for him, and he's going up against the former champ, a guy with not only a chip but a shell on his shoulders, and he has something to prove tonight, does not want to get forgotten in the mix, and this will be a chance to stay relevant for Odonta Kellis versus Dave. <laughs> and now our tag team division, two mid-range tag teams haven't seen a ton of success, but both have impressed when given the opportunity. K Fogden and Zetok the Dane, Dance Dance Revolution, taking on the two fucking zombies, Night Demon and Gdanik, also known as Six Feet Down Under. This should be a very exciting match. Our tag team division is known as the best in all of wrestling, and you're going to find out why in just a few short hours on Friday Stand Firm. Absolutely, and not only do, does the JFW have the best tag team division in wrestling, they also have the best cruiserweight division, or is it also known the Plim Plum Pluserweights? And the Plim Plum Plusers are getting the main event spotlight Fatal 4-Way, Extreme Elimination. We love these matches. Four of the best records in the division. Ghoulface Killer, the former long-term champ. Antsy, Bleeding Hippie, and Just Joe 
all going out at elimination style. The winner of this match will be crowned the number one contender for Muppet Pac-Man's Plim Plom Loserweight Championship at Hell in a Cell in just two short weeks, Jim. Yeah, it's hype, isn't it? Two weeks till Hell in a Cell. That's going to be great. There's some great rivalries heating up for there. Some great champions as well that will be putting their titles on the line. So uh, it's going to be it's going to be fantastic, and we're going to find out who's going to be challenging Muppet. Can't wait. Absolutely. Every time we close a Friday, stand firm with the Plim Plom Pluserweights. We are always rewarded. And I, spoiler alert. This is going to be another one of those. The match hasn't even happened, but I know it's going to be a five-star match, and I cannot wait for this one. I can't wait to join you all in Long Island, New York. I am Gorilla Mezzo. This is your card for Stand Firm, and I will see you soon in the JFW. Thanks for having me as always, Jim. Glorious. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.